I want all people to be Indians first, Indians last, and nothing else but Indians," said Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Yallarigu namaskara, honorable dignitaries, and my dear respected fellow citizens. Today, I am here to speak to pay homage to our national leader, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, on his birth anniversary, which is celebrated as Ambedkar Jayanti every year. The moment we remember the name Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the moment we remember the name Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the first phrase that strikes our mind is Father of Constitution, because he was the chief architect of Indian Constitution, which took two years, eleven months, and eighteen days to be created. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was also the leader of Dalits. But let me tell you, he was more than what many of us know about him. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was a multi-talented personality. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was a scholar par excellence. He could speak eleven languages proficiently. He was the first Indian to have a doctorate in economics abroad. He was an anthropologist. He was a sociologist. He was a barrister by profession, and he was the first law minister of independent India. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar wanted to rebuild the Indian society by following the rule of equality. He also ran social movements in order to eradicate the caste system in our society with the slogan "Educate, Agitate, Organize." Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was not only against the caste discrimination; he was also against the gender discrimination. As his words read, "I measure the progress of a community by the degree of progress which women have achieved." He was a great philosopher, and he stood as a symbol of equality and justice. His ideas were very advanced for his time. For example, he was against the Section 370, which gave exclusive rights to the state Jammu and Kashmir. And in 2019, this was abolished by the government of India. This shows how accurate and foreseeable his thoughts were. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was awarded the Bharat Ratna in April 1990 for his exemplary work in the Indian reforms. And the real purpose of celebrating this great occasion today is to follow and implement his thoughts and ideologies in our lives. And mainly. We, we, the youth of this nation, will keep his ideologies alive and follow it. Thank you, Nehru Yuva Kendra, for providing this opportunity for me. And I am from Karnataka. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat Mata.